Cyrus here from Rantech Radio. Apparently I've got myself one of these little things called a Whirly Pop. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, it's one of those big old aluminium containers that you put popcorn into and crank it with a little bit of the oil and it, uh, it pops old school style like a movie theater. Got a little booklet here for you. Oh, what does it say here? Remember when the peel of homemade popcorn was just as much about the cooking experience as it is to the fluffy, crispy, tasty snack? Well, now you get the best of both worlds with your new Whirly Pop original hand crank popcorn popper. It delivers stovetop quality at microwave speed. It's all in the patented crank and stir mechanism that you continuously move the popcorn around, evenly distributing the oil while preventing the popcorn from burning. It only takes three minutes for true popcorn perfection. And best of all, Wabash Valley Farms has everything you need in convenient pre-measured popcorn popping pouches. There's no prep time, just open, pour, open and pour. <laughs> You'll find the details on that and much more, including your most popular popcorn and popping recipes inside this handy instruction guide. Please keep, no, so keep it with your popper at all times and be prepared to enjoy the favorite snack like never before. And then some other stuff. So when you're ready to advance from popcorn enthusiast to outright fanatic, stay with Wabash Valley Farms and the most unique products and dedicated customer service to really maximize your popcorn fun. And welcome to family. Okay. So, with that said, popcorn stuff. I don't know when I got this. I think I got this like last Christmas. So you got at least a year old popcorn here. At least. Don't quote me on that, it could be older. It could be two, it could be more. So, I'm gonna bust out the old cut co scissors here. Yep. And then, uh, I guess, I guess do this thing. So, just cut right across the top here, like a proud. Open up the top of this thing. Do I add the seasoning? No, let's not add the seasoning. Let's add the oil. First fail of the day. You know what? I'm putting seasoning in there too. I should have just dumped it all in there. I don't care. I don't care anymore. Don't touch me. I'm going to salt. Got all the oil. Don't get stingy. Gotta get all the oil. There we go. So, if it's anything we've established, is that I am not an Orville Redenbacher. Anyhow, you get the oil, you get the kernels, you get the seasoning, you close it up. You look at the back of the baggy thingy. What does it tell you? Well, it pop popper. Tell the stove the medium high. Shkaloosh. All right. Coat in the pouch. Pull the popcorn pop and pull, pull all the shit in. Do not preheat the popper. Let's see. Place popper on the stoves. Stir slowly. Popcorn should start blah, popping about two minutes or less when the whirly pop shows up a few pops a second. Blah, blah, blah. Basically the same thing as... It's the same thing as regular microwave popcorn, except for you get to deal with the experience of cranking your popcorn on the popper now. You got to crank the whirly pop. You gotta crank it now, crank the whirly pop. And don't you dare stop, crank the whirly pop and make some popcorn. I don't know. Now, there is one kernel that is straight down into the burner. I'm pretty sure that one will pop, mostly for my own humor's sake. And I got one extra one on the counter still. No kernel will be spared. All kernels will be cleaned and burned and popped and probably burned again. I'm probably going to fast forward this part. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to make some popcorn. I'm going to make some popcorn. I'm going to make some popcorn. And you're going to eat it. You're going to like it. Popcorn. <laughs>
the things I do to see if I get YouTube hits. Oh, oh! I hear noise! That means the process has begun. The calling of the kernels. It's working! It's working! <laughs> it's working! It's working! <laughs> Stop popping all of a sudden. Ladies and gentlemen, we have popcorn. All right, so, because I am such tender hands, I like not to be burned by the things I cook. And I've been taught proper kitchen safety, which I certainly hope you have as well. So now... We're gonna test our delightful whirly pop popcorn! Yeah! Mmm. Old popcorn taste. A little stale. Flavor's good. However, because nothing is ever sacred with me, and I'm a fat kid, a little bit of popcorn seasoning goes a long way, don't you know? Because I still don't trust this aluminium can. Behold, popped popcorn. I made it. I failed. And yet I have succeeded. In your face, YouTuber lols. Um, kind of has, um, has a slight sweetness to it. Kind of kettle corn. Ironically, I popped it to kettle, so yes. Interesting. But now it has a bit of butteriness because I've added that light coating of hotter. Once again, this has been Cyrus, Rantag Radio, me doing something stupid. Mazel tov. I don't get any damn views, so shut up.